Well, good morning, everybody. It's the start of another week. I woke up quite early this morning um, because I'm very excited because we are at a Toby Carvery. Uh, now, that might sound a bit odd. For those of you who don't know, Toby also does an all you can eat breakfast for very reasonable price, which is just amazing when you're on tour. So, I have gone and got myself. Ta da! I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We, I don't know what's happened. There hasn't been so many Toberies. Toberies? <laughs> Early awake. There hasn't been so many Toby Carberries next to uh, hotels on this tour, which has been a thing of great sadness. So I'm very excited to have actually found one. So I'm actually down ahead of all the rest of the team because I woke up this morning and I was so hungry. My belly was like, go, go get food. So that's exactly what I did. So today we're off to Cretheli, or near Cretheli, a place called Plask in the Wethu. Uh, last time I went there, it rained. Uh, only night rain, but it rained constantly. And everyone was saying, oh, over there, over there is a really lovely view. And I couldn't see it. All I could see was clouds. So I'm really hoping to be able to get the view this time. So when we get there today, I will update you on that. Anyway, my breakfast is going cold, so I'm going to go eat it. That was so good. So good. Right, I'm all set up for the day, um, which is good because the weather forecast looks really, really grim. I'll insert a little screenshot here so you can see. Hopefully it's going to change before we get there because, um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. And if we get that weather, then I'm not going to see the view again. Uh, so, yeah, again, I'll check back in with you later and let you know how we did. So here we are at Plas Glenawethu. Here is today's performance space where we're going to build. And there is where should be the lovely view. But we're in a cloud again and I can't see it. Ta-da! So we are set up and the weather is as glorious as it was the last time I was here. Over there, there is the sea. I promise you it's there. The map tells me it's there. You just can't see it. I was admiring this lovely, lovely tree. And then this exciting sign tells me that it is the tallest tree on the peninsula. And from a distance. From a distance, the tree is tall. What's kind of cool is there seems to be like bits of art and stuff dotted around as well. There's this lovely sculpture over here. But what I'm very excited about is that over there in the corner. I've got a thing about train. So I've had to come and have a nose at the I little tram car. It looks, from a distance, it looked like a narrow gauge tram car. I'm not really sure. I'm going to come and have a little nose at the sign and what it says. So here we are. Ta da! Let's have a nose and see what it says. Da, da, da. It was one of the original Quifheli and Slanbedrog trams. I'm not sure if I'm saying that last word right. Slanbedrog? Or Drock, maybe. Slanbedrog. Anyway, sorry, my Welsh isn't great. Uh, it's the only surviving horse drawn tram which carried travellers between Quifheli and Slanbedrog. It was found on a farm in the area in 1967, being used as storage for animal feed. Oh no! Uh, the tramway was built in 1894 and was used to carry visitors from town to the mansion. There we go. It's really cute, I love it. It's, they've obviously done a nice job of a cosmetic restoration on it. I back up so you can see. Oh, that's so sweet. And it's the only one left, the only survivor, which is kind of sad, but it's nice that it's here for people to see. It's such a gray day, but it's still a really beautiful place. So this is the house itself. This is the mansion. And then over there just, Behind those trees, you can see our stage. Hello, we're walking to the beach because it's totally beach weather. Well, there's a beach, so we're going to it. Very beautiful. And I'm sure on a sunny day, this is absolutely glorious. It's just not sunny today. So we have decided that we're gonna go for a swim because why not? None of us came we, with uh, swim stuff, um, but we're still, <laughs> we're still gonna do it anyway. I'm not pining the camera around because the guys are getting changed behind me, so I'm gonna go join oh, them. And then I think Chris is gonna film us as we are running in like crazy people. Here goes. Ready? Oh, well, that was fun. Nice to finally use my tankini for what it was actually meant for. 
unfortunately the weather has slightly turned now and it's raining so we need to get back and dry off before the show otherwise brr <laughs> see you in a bit <laughs> it is it is pumping here <laughs> did not want to put my wet feet into my dry boots so barefoot walking back to the venue we're all very excited about this about this lovely dripping weather Dave looks especially excited over there I'm so excited about this weather I think it's slapped me not <laughs> Chris ever positive And here is the aftermath of a wet show. Costumes. Costumes. Everywhere. Everywhere, I tell you. Everywhere. Oh, and also here, here, and here. So many costumes trying to dry. aftermath from yesterday's wet show continues. Costumes drying. Everywhere you look. Everywhere. Everywhere you look. Well, this is a bit of a turn up for the books, isn't it? We've gone from absolutely checking it down to glorious sunshine. Check out the view behind me. Isn't that amazing? Definitely one of the better views I've ever had from a dressing room. 